What's going on guys, it's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video. This is going to be on three headquarter glitches that have not been patched yet. And they are pretty cool glitches in my opinion and I really don't feel as if they need to be patched anyways. But I'm just going to be going over them in this video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, smash like down below. You guys have been killing the recent videos and I really do appreciate your support. Of course, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And check out my previous videos at the end of this one. And with that said, let's begin. So the first glitch we're going to be going over is the invisible weapon glitch in headquarters. And now this does take place in the firing range and it's very simple and easy to do but will cause you guys to get a ton of cool reactions so all you're going to need to do is simply sprint jump into the firing range the second before you land you want to be pressing r2 and then x on the quartermaster and the second you land you want to be pressing on that quartermaster and as you guys can see you guys will be without a weapon you literally you cannot do anything you can't shoot you can't aim down your sights or anything like that but as you can see right now a player actually entered the firing range they did see me on the ground as you have to be on the ground for your weapon to actually disappear and to be holding an invisible weapon. And as you guys can see, his reaction was pretty cool. He didn't know what was happening and how I had an invisible weapon. He later on did send me a message asking me how I did it. And then, of course, I told him how to do it as well. It's a pretty cool and useless glitch in my opinion, but does give you guys some great reactions. Now the second glitch we're going to be going over here is the go-karting glitch or the bot slide glitch. Now this does work with a ton of different emotes. It actually works with a backflip emote as well, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, I couldn't show you that as I don't actually have that emote on my character right now. But as you can see, the best way to go ahead and do this, the second your character is about to put his right arm on his knee, you want to go ahead and press circle and move forward. The cool thing about this is you can actually speed up the process and actually go super speed. And the way how this is done, it's simply jump by pressing X. You have to be moving at the same time and then go ahead and sprint on your analog stick. As long as you don't stop moving, this glitch will continue and is pretty cool in my opinion as well. Now the final one what we have here is the AFK social score glitch. Now I have posted a ton of videos here on the channel but this is a cool glitch that will not get you kicked from the headquarters especially if you guys want to go out and do something and also level up your social score. This one's super simple. All you're going to have to do is simply just use an emote or even stand in a certain position in the headquarters. Most likely the most populated area I do feel works the best. Once you have gone ahead and done that go over to the emblem editor create a new emblem and bam you have literally done the glitch just stay on this screen and you guys will not be kicked from the headquarters now hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know it's been quick and short but i just wanted to go over three glitches that have not been patched in headquarters yet and ones that you should definitely go ahead and use and in my opinion they're just fun to use in headquarters as well especially while you are waiting for your games to start now unfortunately you can't be in the headquarters just before you guys are actually getting put into the game they did change that around you actually have to be in the headquarters itself and then once you search for a game it does kick you out of the headquarters unfortunately but that's hopefully going to change in the new update for call of duty world war 2 there is an expected update to be on this friday and i will be updating you guys here on the channel when that is released but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one hopefully you have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace